Hi, I'm Carla, and for today's 5-Minute Tech Project, we are going to create this beautiful dark starry night CSS animation background using only CSS, HTML, and a couple of images. Before we start, now is a great time to like and subscribe. Let's begin! Open your favorite text editor and create an index.html file and styles.css. You'll also need three images. Stars, it's kind of hard to see, but these white specks are stars. Clouds, and this is the weird image that we're going to use to make the stars look like they're twinkling. All of the images will be on the GitHub repository, linked in the description. Let's start with the index HTML page, and we're gonna create a head and give it a title of a dark, mysterious night. I also found this really sweet Google font, so I'm going to link that. And we also want to link our style sheet. Now we need to create our body, and we're only gonna need four divs. Uh, one with a class of stars, another twinkling for our, our clouds, and this is where we're gonna put our beautiful text in our title box, and we're just going to also call it a dark and mysterious night. Let's check it out. All right, now let's make it look nice. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that uh, there's no margin and this background takes up the entire screen. And then we're gonna get to the title. So we're going to make the font nice and big. We're gonna add that font family. We're just gonna center it in the page, make it look nice. And now we're gonna make the font look really great with uh, linear gradients. This is what's gonna give it that really cool and smoky look. So we need to make sure that the text shows and that uh, we get rid of our actual background because we're basically giving the text uh, a background. And we're also gonna give it a shadow to make it pop out just a little bit more. And we want it to have a Z index of three so it's on top of everything. And let's take a look. Looks great. Let's get started on the animation. We're gonna create two uh, keyframe functions, one to move the clouds from uh, side to side, and the other to move our twinkling image, that those three dots, uh, over the page so that it simulates the stars twinkling back and forth. I'm just going to copy this function and paste it and change the background positions. Great, now let's make sure all of our stars twinkling in clouds are uh, take up the entire page as well. Looks good. So now we are going to add the stars background and we are just going to add the background and overlay the stars images on top of it. Let's take a look. Great, now we want to add the twinkling function. So we're going to add that uh, twinkling PNG. Uh, I'm actually gonna fix that in just a second. We wrote down clouds instead. And we're gonna make sure the Z index is more than the stars so that it is on top of the stars. And we're calling that keyframes animation here. And I accidentally misspelled that. Let's take a look. And you can see it's twinkling, looks great. And lastly, we need to define our clouds class. We're gonna do similar to the previous two. We're gonna create a transparent background and we're going to link the clouds image and repeat it. 
we're gonna make sure the Z index is on top of the twinkling and on top of the stars. And we're just going to lower the opacity a little bit because the clouds image is a little uh, thick. We call the keyframes function. Looks good. Now let's see what it looks like. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it has been helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think I should make next. I'm always open to suggestions and feedback. Thanks for watching.